Lighters up, high seas. This is your girl, the Stoner Girl Tarot, and I'm back with another video. All right, thank you so much for hanging out with me on this virtual smoke session. If you haven't already, roll up with me, light up with me, drop down in the comments, let me know what you're smoking on. And if you don't smoke, no worries. You're still more than welcome. This is some mango kush in a glass pipe. Um, I've had this for a few years now. It's in the color rose gold. Um, mango kush is a an indica hybrid, I believe, and it does give you the munchies, okay? So be sure, it gives your stomach that empty feeling, so be sure you stay hydrated if you try or smoke this particular strand. Pisces, this is for your sun, moon, rising, Venus. This is also for the cross watcher. I wanted to draw some channeled messages for you. First, we have your guide spirit team is removing obstacles from your path. Why are you doing this to me? Analyze the situation before you act on anything. And I like the way you make me feel. So Pisces, this is how you are feeling or the person that you are watching this video for cross watcher. This could be you or, you know, your Pisces feeling this way. So let's go deeper on this. Keep in mind, this is a general reading. Everything is not going to I shuffle these cards off camera, but something is telling me to shuffle them again. But yeah, this is a general reading Pisces. So everything is not going to fit your situation. Take whatever applies and let the rest fly. Pisces. All right. Bottom of the deck, King of Pentacles. Some of you could be in your bag right now. You could be, you know, creating stability for yourself or this is what you are wanting. Okay. Oh, this is pretty much. Well, no, um, the page of cups came out previously, but this is the nine of cups. So this does talk about wish fulfillment. So your spirit team, your spirit guides, they are removing obstacles from your path so that you can get what you want so that you can get wish fulfillment. I feel some of you have been wanting something to happen for a while. You've been waiting for movement on this. Yeah, you had your share of disappointments, Ace of Cups in reverse, uh, Three of Swords in reverse. You don't know what direction to take. You don't know, you know, what direction that you need to go. But we have a full moon coming up on Tuesday and that energy, it, it talks about, you know, you got to let go of control. And once you surrender, I feel that you'll begin to see movement in whatever it is that you are wanting. Your person, uh, Pisces, is the king of wands energy. When asked, why are you doing this to me? Um, this person has, someone has passion, deep passion for the other. Someone is very attracted to the other. However, there could be some controlling behavior here. A Sagittarius could be significant. Some of you, I feel, will take control of this situation. I know I just said you need to release control. Some of you will reach out to your person. And then we have the King of, of Pentacles that came out. Um, we have two kings here. This sometimes signifies a male male relationship or a female female relationship doesn't matter really it's pretty much about the energy so you have someone that you know this person is attractive this person is you know lit they they out there they're they're on that grind they're on their hustle and they also got some money they also want something stability they want stability they want security 
this is you feeling this way about your person. Your person is feeling this way about you, Pisces. This is um, a Taurus could be significant as well. What else? What else does Pisces need to know? Um, things between you two with the Page of Swords in reverse, it could have like ended really badly. It could have ended due to, you know, somebody gossiping about one of you, rumors about one of you, or, you know, spying looking for something on the other person, just being vindictive, you know, low vibrational energy. I wouldn't be surprised if like the five of cups comes out because I do get a feeling of regret. Someone has regret here. What else? Seven of Pentacles, someone is thinking about, you know, their options, what they should do. They're reevaluating the situation. They're analyzing the situation before they take any action. Again, Pisces, this could be you or your person. You don't want this chapter to end. You, you're not willing to move forward or someone is not willing to move forward with the world card in reverse. An Aquarius may be significant. Give me a thumbs up if this has resonated so far. Knight of Swords in reverse. This talks about messages not being sent, um, not being able to talk to you. Um, some of you, like I said before, with the regret, like some of you are regretting that you pushed this person away or vice versa, or, you know, someone's feelings got hurt and there could be some regret around that as well. So you're analyzing the situation. You're, you, you probably have been or will be in this energy Pisces of thinking back about the situation. Um, we have the will of fortune in reverse as well. Again, this talks about things not going as planned. Um, a delay of some type. You could be dealing with an, a, an Aquarius again, a Leo, a Taurus, a Scorpio. Someone is not willing to let go with the death card in reverse. This is Scorpio energy again. So again, there's movement around someone like really thinking back about what happened and analyzing the situation. Someone has not let go. It's very apparent. And it probably has to do with the fact that someone really likes the way you make them feel or vice versa. This person could have had a, a stressful job or just going through a lot of stressful events. Being with you enabled them to relax, chill out. Um, this also could have started as a fling, you know, like a, I don't want to say friends with benefits, but it could have started off very casual. And then it, you know, when things got serious, things got um, messy. Okay. What else? Yeah, and someone in this situation, too, could be, you know, not about the drama. You know, they, I feel like someone was trying to keep the peace or peace or find, trying to um, just find out, you know, trying to fix it, trying to, you know, not be at odds with you with the seven of wands in reverse.
someone feels dumb as hell, like I just got this download and the Seven of Swords in reverse came out, the Emperor came out, you could be dealing with an Aries. This talks about someone being a jerk, someone being an asshole, when something about them was revealed, a truth about this person was revealed, or you saw their true colors. And for some of you, when you confronted this person about whatever they did or about their behavior, they could have cussed you out. You know, they could have did some gaslighting, trying to make it seem like it's you not taking accountability for their actions or just really not caring about your feelings. Someone could be also getting their karma. Like you hurt me, they lost their job or, you know, they something happened with their job or their reputation at work or, you know, it, it affected their money some kind of way. How does this person feel about Pisces? They still think about you with the Six of Cups in reverse. They still think back to those feelings and emotions that they once had for you um, or still have for you. Now, for some of you, I want to clarify this before I say anything. Yeah. Some of them are someone is just getting to this point where they are getting over being hurt. They're getting over being, you know, depressed. They're getting over of they're getting out of their head with the eight of swords in reverse. What I was about to say is someone in this situation could not even be interested in having a romantic relationship because of this experience, Pisces. That could be you or your person. Yeah, Scorpio energy again, the tower, afraid of change. Or someone is like, I feel that it was like something happened that was really big, really painful, especially with this page of swords in reverse. And it's like someone is like, oh, my God, this is over. Like, you know, I'm finally getting past what happened, you know, and they're not even thinking about dating or, you know, getting out there. They're just happy that this is over. Okay. What is the best case scenario for Pisces and their person? Three of cups in reverse talks about someone First of all, it talks about someone who's irresponsible, someone who, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Ex excess, like excessive sex, excessive drinking, weed, drugs. It also indicates a, a possible third party. Um, that page of swords in reverse right here, there could be that information coming out like this person really is fooling with this third party you know what else clarify that <laughs> judgment is here so again judgment talks about karma someone is getting their karma this also talks about because of said karma that this person is having an epiphany there it it served as a wake up call and that's why i feel that if you want a reconciliation it's very possible but understand that this person may still have a third party yeah, the Page of Cups. This came out, you know, previously, and it talks about someone telling you how they feel or possibly someone connected to your person telling you how they feel like, oh, so and so 
hit me up yesterday. They asked about you. Something like that. Give me a thumbs up if this has resonated so far. I'm going to draw some Moonology cards. Whatever card comes out is the affirmation that could help you in this situation. Your first affirmation, Pisces, is go wild, which deals with full moon and Leo. So Leo is about creation. It is about romance. When the full moon is in Leo, it's like either you've gotten too much of something or not enough. Some of you are really looking for stability and security. Like you want something that's stable and that has substance. Okay. Um, I really feel the energy is like whoever was on the receiving end of the drama and the infidelity or the deception, you are about to get good karma. You just need to believe. And your last affirmation, Pisces, is open up to change. And I feel that a new love is coming for you along with whoever this past person is. I know a lot of you don't, you know, want to hear about a past person, but open up to change if, you know, you're not really interested in dating. Also, I'm hearing that you need to look outside of the box when it comes to the type of person that you are physically attracted to. OK, so Pisces, that's your reading. Let's talk about this in a comment. Drop me a comment. Let me know what you think and I'll see you later.